things fresh. <laughs> yeah, sir. So first of all, I would just like to thank all of you for coming and taking time out of your evening to support the Waterloo Engineering Society and one of our biggest events of the term. And just like we put so much time into this, and we're just so thankful that you've that uh, we're just so thankful for your support and coming out and watching. I'd also like to personally thank my Side 252 group for completely carrying me these last couple weeks. As I'm putting every single second I have in the show. Yeah, you really need to go to class. <laughs> Anywho, uh, yes, and I uh, would also like to thank our cast who you're going to see in this lovely performance. Uh, we are all student volunteers. Everybody's been putting in their time while uh, taking time away from their projects and things that they should be doing in school. But uh, yeah, it's. <laughs> We're thankful to them and uh, the characters they portray. Full disclaimer, this show may have uh, a few jokes about some other schools and uh, some about our own as well. Uh, despite being in a professional program, I think it shows how immature we still are. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we hope you enjoy. Uh, all is made in good fun. And uh, thank you. Enjoy the show. Somebody's on our shift, eh? Are you really that busy? 
happening this weekend? Weddings and a funeral. So basically, three funerals. It takes <laughs> a lot of power. Oh, <laughs> uh, Arthur, don't tell me a smart guy like you doesn't believe in the love and romance of weddings. Listen, Gwen. What people call love is just a chemical reaction that compels animals to breathe. It slowly fades, leaving you stranded in a failing marriage while your spouse is out practicing the downward dog after hours with a high yoga instructor. <laughs> Glad I did it. Your parents are going to do it. Break the cycle, Gwen. Rise above. Focus on science. You know, maybe you're right. Or maybe not. I think you're just hopeless when it comes to seeing yeah. good chemistry. What are you talking about? I'm amazing at chemistry. Don't tell my Uncle Vlad this, but... I think I could pass a first year chemistry course. Oh, no, I don't want to kill you! <laughs> My gosh, is it 11 o'clock already? <laughs> you may want to get going. Well, I'll see you later. See you. What are you doing, wasting time talking to pretty girls? What? You think you're nice and smooth like old Uncle Vladimir? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? She's just a friend. All right, all right. But no getting this friend pregnant, okay? <laughs>
Initially, I refused, but then he threw down a check on the table that made my gambling debts look like jump change. But the shop is <laughs> everything to you. It's the best flower shop in Toronto. It's your life's work. Did you just say gambling debts? <laughs> the shop was nothing. At least, it certainly wasn't worth what he offered me. But now, with the money I have, I can realize my true, 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 true dream. To open up a flower shop, completely identical, but on the West Coast. <laughs> Paleo on bust, baby.
I'm hoping to just go into research anyway. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, do you want to go to Suds for a drink? No, man. I gotta catch the bus back home to Saga. This is the life of a commuter. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. Man, don't you just hate when directors and shows make random, nameless characters set the scene and give context cues? Yeah, it's pretty lazy writing, to be honest. We haven't even mentioned Mordred yet, who is basically the most important character in this scene. He is the president of school, which is our engineering society, famed for its incorrect spelling because engineers. <laughs> Yada, yada, yada. 
over this most important part. Where did he go? Where is he? Well, Vladimir gave him no choice and made him go to California with him. And, and you didn't try to recruit him? I thought I told you to enchant him, coerce him into joining my forces. <laughs>
believe the word. That doesn't help me contact you in any way. <laughs> then you must be... I am Sir Bedivere. The G-O-N will make your bed rock. <laughs> Anyone can steal in the first. 
first place. Look, I really don't like this, but if you're sure it'll work, how do you suppose we get them on board? It's simple. We'll travel in pairs and visit each school and, and impress them and form an alliance. Okay? To do that, I'll need each of you to use those big brains of yours, right? I remove the tool from the stone by using my common sense. <laughs>
one condition. I'll drink alongside you, Donald. But only if you can handle a drink yourself. Time!
how are you? How, how, how did um, you? Yeah, I know. Only the truly gifted can break the fourth wall, blah, 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 yeah. Now, please, get up, get up on my stage and, uh, um,
YT Press. So it turns out UIT is still inviting people to drinking events even after the collapse of engineering. I guess they want to maintain their reputation of being extremely ratchet. Ugh, how could they not be? I mean, look at this city. It's all gray and dull. There's nothing but Chevy and Paul's and pickup trucks everywhere. Hey, come on, man. Watch it. I grew up in this dirty swan. <coughs> look how I turned out. <laughs> You're just screwing my point, Hammer. What's that supposed to mean? Well, I always knew you were overcompensating for something. I just didn't think it was that kind of thing. Oh, universe. I see how it is, because I'm the one who literally goes around calling himself <coughs> the knight of the small and really, really hard. Is that right? You don't get it. It's a joke. It's a play on words. That's a stupid joke, man. Let's just go to UOIT. Alright, based on the city, I was expecting a shithole. But this is actually pretty nice. Why do you come here instead of Waterloo? Oh, because I hate General Motors. <laughs> you want to work for a real car company? Like Toyota? Or Tesla? You go to a real school! And besides, you can do automotive engineering literally anywhere else. It's called mechanical. <laughs>
regarded as the other Toronto school. <laughs> Although they've maintained a greater presence than York, their engineering program has struggled to stay afloat in the chaotic city. The number of Toronto mans present suggests a lack of organization, a perfect challenge for a management student. Here come our gallant knights now.
What do I need to do? Our greatest problem is the TTC. <laughs> <laughs> Challenge the Green Knight more to 
times than you can count in engineering and robotics competitions across the country. The first time we met, he paid his way into the winner's circle, bribing judges until he was on top. When I complained, the other competitors told me the tale of the Green Knight, the richest engineer to ever buy his way through a degree. Appalled, I swore I would take down the Green Knight, no matter what it took. The next time we met was on the battlefront, the Star Wars battlefront. <laughs> I trained for months, honing my skill, but I was no match for him. You see, he had purchased all the heroes, and the sense of pride and accomplishment and gave him. Again and again, I challenged the Green Knight, and again and again, I was defeated. The power of his money was just too much. But then, in the final competition where we ever faced off, I was finally able to defeat him with this. Behold, the Accountatron 6900. With machine learning, I taught this robot to be the world's greatest forensic accountant and lawyer. It can sniff out tax evasion and fraud from even the smallest bits of accounting data. But we're taking it apart. Hard. You see, our Green Knight loved him some tax fraud, so he's spending some time in Kingston Penitentiary. <laughs> My sensors indicate fraudulent taxes. Prepare for the fly commenting. Well done! No, that's a very uh, uh, interesting story. Of course, I have nothing to worry about. All of my money is absolutely 100% legitimate. <laughs> On a completely unrelated note, don't you think that robot should be in more capable hands? Mine, for example, wouldn't want anyone here being illegitimately accused of something they certainly didn't do. How much would it cost to buy that robot off? Fifty grand? Uh, I think you can do better than that. A million! A five million! Ten million! Oh, okay, on second thought, I don't think it's for sale. But, I would be willing to give it to you in return for something. Anything! Anything. You see, our president is setting up a team to bring school spirit back to engineering by rescuing the stolen mascots, including your grease bowl from U of T. Clearly, these first years need some sort of mascot to raise their spirits. We need the fastest drinker from among you to join us in this quest. And uh, doing this would get us the robot? Then I'm the one you want. Send word to my secretary when the time of the challenge arrives. Whatever it is, I will perform to the greatest extent. I mean, ability. After all, it is for the greatness of Queen's traditions and no other reason. Now that 
think you're the one that's I'm explaining to do. Uh, um, patience, my boy. All in good time. Now, please, answer my question. Why are you here? We're here to take back what you stole, to challenge you for what's rightfully ours. And ours. And ours. I'm rich! <laughs> Spirit and uh, need I remind them? Lack of a mascot? Oh, last one. I wouldn't have expected you. Last week, man, you, uh, you said you had no intention of fighting. You shut your mouth, you snake. No one needs to hear more of your lies and treasure. My lies? Why, you double crossing son of a very nice. Oh, my God, Arthur! A Gwen? No. <laughs> the woman is here. Oh, excuse me, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, seriously, what the fuck? You, you told me he left. Arthur? He did leave. He went to Waterloo. Hmm? You said California. What? Waterloo is kind of like California. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Cali of the North. <laughs>
sitting on top of everyone else. So, I thought the least I could do was to fulfill her last wishes and bring you here. So now, you have that chance. You and me and you of tea. Yeah. Rhymes. <laughs> Together, we could rule the world. Mordred. Brother. <laughs> A wise person once told me, engineers don't rule the world. They serve. I'm going to finish what I came here to do. Oh, 
things can be fun, but they're fun because they're supposed to bring us together, not tear us apart. At this point, I don't even care who has the truth. Deep down inside, I, I've always wanted to be an engineer. Why? Because, because of what I thought I could do for people. I thought I could solve problems that would work towards the greater good. I even thought that one day I could become one of the Knights of Enstock and be part of a caring community. But it was I wrong. Here we are, killing each other because I broke a fucking glass!
seems so. Oh, there's more. P.S. Sybil was never my forte. Well, pardon my language, but what the heck was that supposed to be? <laughs> the concrete's not reinforced. The concrete's not reinforced! Alright, so what does that mean? It means that being worthy isn't about the grades or the brawn or even the birthright. It's about one's attitude. Look. And so. And so, Galahad raised the tool as a shining beacon of engineering spirit. <laughs> Slowly but surely, balance returned to the engineering profession. The job market recovered. Engineering students began to have fun, experimenting and learning as they forged their lives. Mordred began to use his resources to unify the inferior schools. With the help of Galahad and, surprisingly, Lancelot, they formed a peace treaty, banning the unfair acquisition of mascots. Arthur, however, was never seen again. Some say he moved to California and learned to code to get himself a job out there. <laughs> <laughs> Others say he may have taken a permanent vacation to Florida. The only thing that can be said for certain is that his knowledge, his will, and his dedication and sacrifice for the greater good of engineering forever be regarded as legendary. With Galahad as his successor, he set a standard for those allowed to hold a beloved tool. Those worthy of being an engineer must understand their commitment to society and to the spirit of their career. They are responsible for their actions, and above all else, their attitude must reflect the mind heart, and spirit of the engineer. After all, in that spirit we say, We are the engineers!